you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 4th friday let's begin this day with the blessings of god we read from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 9 verses 27 to 31 As Jesus went on from there two blind men followed him crying loudly have mercy on us son of david when he entered the house the blind men came to him and Jesus said to them do you believe that i am able to do this they said to him yes lord then he touched their eyes said according to your faith let it be done to you and their eyes were opened then jesus sternly ordered them see that no one knows of this but they went away and spread the news about him throughout that district the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends today's mass is about to see the gospel speaks about the healing of the two blind men it is a story which we find in mark's gospel but here with the significant differences for instance mark has only one blind man while matthew has two we should not just read this as just another miracle another proof of jesus divine power it begins with the two blind men going after jesus calling after him in desperation have compassion on us son of david there is already an element of faith in calling jesus by this messianic name and it also points to the healing power of jesus jesus is more than an ordinary rabbi when they catch up on jesus he asks them do you believe that i can do this without their trust in him jesus cannot do anything for them we remember what was said about the unbelieving people of nazareth these men say they do believe your faith deserves it so let it be done for you they get their sight back they can now see jesus tells them not to say anything about it jesus is not interested in being a sensation he does not want people to have a wrong idea of his real mission but they ignored his appeal and went about telling everyone of what had happened there is more here than meets the eye what we have here is not just the restoration of their physical sight they have gained insight they can really see they can see who jesus really is the word of god the action of god and they simply how to share that experience with everyone else it is not something that they can keep to themselves it is significant that the following story is about the healing of a dumb man there are several instances of jesus healing deafness and blindness in the gospel as disciples of christ we need to be able to see and understand the message of jesus and then we need to proclaim it everywhere today is a day for us to be aware of our own blindness and our own deafness we often have a difficulty really hearing and accepting the word of god and how many of us can claim that we can see jesus as he really is if we are to celebrate christmas properly we must learn how to listen to god's word with understanding and acceptance and learn how to listen to the word of god and understand and learn how to see deeply into the meaning of his life as it is presented to us and it starts right there with the baby in the stable Amen. May God bless us.